time travel one of the most talked about topics in the world? Are there people traveling to the future or are they traveling to the past? Are there people traveling now? We don't know. Today's video is going to be about time travel, as you can tell. If you're new to this channel, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe down below with the bell notifications when I post new videos. Some people believe that the government is keeping time travel a secret from the populace. Now, some people believe that UFOs are time travelers from the future coming to the past. Now, this started back in 1947 when the Roswell crash happened with the unidentified spaceship. Or how other people say, or the government says, weather balloon blip. Do you believe in that? And that makes a lot of sense. Not the weather balloon blip. What makes sense is the UFO crash and time traveling. All that other stuff. Do you believe in time travel? Let me know down in the comments below. Scouring the internet, I found some compelling stories of people who say they're time travelers from the future. Are they just conspiracies? Or are they really time travel? Take John Teeter for example, time traveler from the year 2036. Now he says he's a military time traveler and he made a lot of predictions when he came back from the future. Now he predicted a civil war, he predicted World War 3 using nuclear bombs, but none of his predictions came true, but they were very compelling. John Teeter's story is he came back from the year 2036 to retrieve a computer from 1975, IBM 5100. Now this IBM had a special program in it to help his companions in the future in 2036 with some computer programs they were having. And only this computer had it. Now after retrieving the computer, he was supposed to go back to the year 2036. But instead, he went to the year 2000. For personal reasons. Andrew Carlson, a special type of time traveler. Now instead of using his time traveling skills to help the human race better their future, he used his time traveling for personal gain. Yes, the stock market. Making $350 million in two weeks. That's where he screwed up, with only $800. With that much luck, he caught the eye of the SEC, Security Exchange Commission, and the FBI. During his interrogation, he explained why he gained and how he gained so much money in so little time. He was a time traveler from the year 2256. He then proceeded to try and bribe his way out of going to prison by saying he knows the cure to AIDS, but we all know AIDS were man-made, and the location and whereabouts of Osama bin Laden. But he would only give the cure for AIDS and the location of Osama bin Laden if he was set free and was able to go back to his time machine. Carlson got out on bail, and for what reason and why they gave him bail, I don't know. But he skipped town, no one's seen him ever again. Now there's a theory behind this. Three things. One. He skipped town and just skipped town and disappeared. Two, he actually is a time traveler and he brokered a deal with the government that they set him free and he'll come work for them in secret. Or three, he's in time travel prison. They followed him to his time machine, kidnapped him before he got to his time machine and they're using it now for personal gain. But hey, who knows? Harkin Nofraschutz. I apologize if I said that name wrong. You know I'm bad with names, but let's call them We'll call him Han. Now Han's story is really questionable. It all started in August of 2006 with a leaky pipe underneath his cabinet. He crawled underneath the cabinet to fix the pipe, but the depths of the pipe were strangely deeper than what they should be. The bright light at the back of the cabinet. Think of Lion the Witch in the Wardrobe where Lucy crawls to the back of the cabinet and ends up finding a hidden world back there. Now he didn't believe what he was seeing. How crazy would it be to meet your future self? Worst part is trying to convince other people you met your future self. Even worse, trying to convince yourself that you met your future self. The most strangest part about this story is that the 72 year old man that he met had the exact same tattoo on the exact same arm in the exact same spot. He took video evidence of his encounter with his future self. Strangely, the camera had bad quality. Take a look. Remember when I said at the beginning of the video you had UFOs in Roswell? 
and I said that people think that UFOs are time travelers from the future coming back to spectate us. Now think of it that way. Now I want to show you this clip from the movie The Last Mimsy. Mimsy returned to her own time, as if time had stopped. It was what the scientists had hoped for, to find a soul in the past, not contaminated by the pollutants that filled our bodies and minds. Look at their suits. People shed their protective suits. The way the suits are designed look like gray men. And the last Mimsy, Mimsy is from the future. So what if UFOs are actually time travelers? Spectate our past or our present and their past and they're from our future. But I do want to say, upon my investigation of time travel, I've gotten deeper than what I've talked about today. And the one that I want to talk about the most is Noah. But I'm not going to talk about Noah on this video. I plan on dedicating a whole video just to Noah. So if you like this video, hit that like button. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see that video about Noah or any other time travels or just want to talk about the science of time travel. Let me know. Also hit the subscribe button. Until next video, peace guys.